thousand mile car, Pacers have very large doors with standard hinges. They tended to sag and they get a lot of play in them. This car on each driver and passenger side has good hinges. That's a pretty difficult repair. It's, it's pretty tight here. There's no problem yet. You know, powder blue paint. I waxed it a couple times over the many years that I've, I've owned the car. Um, right here, there's a small flaw here where some um, battery acid dripped. That just went ate through the paint. Um, like just slight surface rust. Paint touch up is all you need here. The chrome is pretty good on the front bumper. Uh, mild pitting, um, but I wouldn't do anything there. On the car, in various places, there are small spots of surface rust. Again, it's solid, but you would need to sand it and paint it. Again, it looks pretty good. All the glass is uh, nice. No, um, no cracks that I could find. The car has been in storage for a long time, um, outdoor storage, so there are flaws. Uh, all four tires are old. They have some dry rot, but they do hold air. I'm going to zero in on a couple more spots of rust you should see in here, in here. Most of these areas, this car had this rust when I bought it more than 10 years ago, so they're stabilized. They're solid. Now, there are a couple of spots of uh, worse rust right here. This car had this area when I got it, and uh, there is minor rust through there. It's right at the bottom where gravel collected. We're in the south here, so we don't get salted roads. And this car was driven, not really driven in the winter, so it was not exposed to salty road conditions. Another uh, common problem area in Pacers are rocker panels. This car has got is very nice, um, a little bit. This is, again, surface rust. It's solid here. No rust through that I could find. The valance, the aluminum valance covers have some corrosion on the uh, inside foot well area, but that is just a piece of aluminum trim. The door wells on each side are pretty nice. Uh, moving on to the interior quickly. The interior is really nice in this car. This was a, uh, a very basic pacer. Um, it's automatic on the column, uh, basic trim bench seat with air conditioning, most importantly for the south here. Uh, the stitching came loose in one seam on the chair, which uh, there's a piece of a gaffer's tape on it right now to keep it from getting any worse. That's the only bad spot on the interior I could find other than um, moving over here to the rear plastic um, in the hatchback area. Pacers ha were made of a sort of a flimsy plastic here that was uh, susceptible to sun damage, and there's some of that. Most Pacers have that. Um, there's some chip paint on the steering wheel. I have the original radio, um, but this dash is nice and original and hasn't been hacked into, which is nice. Air conditioning, which is important. Um, now, now you can see we have an original 63,183 miles. Um, I know both of the previous owners of this car, and that is, that is absolutely what it has. We have a few cracks in the door plastic. Um, these these plastic panels again were were susceptible to a lot of damage, so um, these aren't too bad considering. We have the original fiberboard headliner, which is a nice blue color. That's in pretty good condition. The back seat is very nice. I'm not sure if you can see that, but very very nice. Here's the rear of the car. Again, all of the glass is really nice on this model, and uh, this is um. The carpet was taken out because it got too old. Uh, you see some glue spots here. This is where the carpet was glued in at. That can be cleaned off. Um, under here we have what looks to be the original spare tire. And uh, again, no major rust that I could find. It's all really solid. You guys up in the north are going to have a few questions about rust. And um, again, I can't find anything too serious in this car. This is my um, very well. The air cleaner was removed because it had some problems with its choke, and the carburetor has been kept covered. This is an original AMC 258 six-cylinder engine. Um, if You probably know Pacers were originally designed for a rotary engine, so they have this unusual battery. A uh, little bit of rust through there. It's solid, though. The car is solid. Um, on this car are all very bright. Moving around to the front. The front. It's a nice, very nice car. Probably the most original one in my years of 
collecting pacers that I was ever able to get. It was originally owned by an old couple. Really tough to find a uh, pacer in, uh, that has escaped rust this well. Now you guys in the north are going to ask me, how are the floor pans? I'm going to get lots of questions on that and I just want to show you I've got a hammer here and I'm just going to tap. Sounds pretty solid, right? Well, I think these floor pans are just fine. I'll do the driver's side real quick here. So in conclusion, this car is a very nice original 63,000 mile 1977 Pacer wagon with original paint. No repair, no body damage history at all. Uh, knew the two previous owners. It's, going, it's been sitting for a very long time, so it's going to need an entire fuel system clean, electrical inspection, new tires, uh, probably the brakes are going to need cleaning and things like that. But otherwise, uh, tough to find a pacer this nice and original. So uh, good luck uh, buying it on eBay, and uh, I look forward to hearing uh, your questions. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye. Yeah.